Hi Tech Tawai, Jun Tariman here. In our quest to improve our internet connection at home, we resort to experimenting some ways like installing external antennas in our Wi-Fi modem router. If you are using the Boost Even variant of the PLDT Wi-Fi modem, like this device here, there are two antenna terminals at the back of this device, and these are for cellular signals. These two sticks here are external and portable antenna, which can be mounted directly to the antenna terminals of the device without the need for uh, RF cables. Now, the question is, will this antenna work? And how do we know that these antennas will work? There are indications that we can read in our settings about that. But before that, Stay until the end of this video to know more about the details. And subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click that notification bell. The indicators whether or not our uh, modem Wi-Fi is receiving a good signal from the cell site are all found in our uh, settings. Um, in the case of PLDT Home, Wi-Fi modem. You can find the uh, set the the the, the data uh, at the home Wi-Fi settings dot net page of PLDT. That's PLDT home Wi-Fi settings dot net. Then once you are at the dashboard page, you scroll down, and you can read uh, the following: RSRP, RSRQ, SINR, and RSSI. These are indicators of the signal received by our Wi-Fi modem. So the RSRP is the reference signal received power. So it is the power of the LTE reference signals. It means that is the indicator of the strength of or the power of our uh, modem. So how much the signal is received by the device is indicated by RSRP. Now, the range for RSRP is from negative uh, 44 dBm to negative 140 dBm. dBm means decibels, milliwatts, okay? Now, uh, the, the ideal or the good RSRP value is around four, negative 44 dBm, okay? So, some experts say that uh, our the value of RSRP should not go be should not go below 58 dBm. Now, if you can see here, my uh, device is receiving uh, uh, at least uh, negative 80 to 83 dBm RSRP. Now, uh, experts said that uh, if the RSRP is between negative 82 dBm and negative 96 dBm, then the device should be located in a new location, uh, possibly, or it is recommended that your device should be out, outdoor to receive good signal. If you can see here, uh, my RSP, RSRP is playing between negative 80 to 82, and there was a time it reached negative 83, so nasa boundary ako. So I think I am consider I I am considering the transfer of my uh, de device now. Okay. Now what about RSRQ? RSRQ is the uh, reference signal received quality. So it is the quality of the signal. Then um, the range here is negative fifteen or negative nineteen point five uh, dB to negative three dB. Negative 19.5 dB is bad and negative 3 dB is good. So I am at negative 8 dB. So more or less it's better. Okay, It's not good but it's the better because it's close to negative 3 dB. SINR. What is SINR? Um, SINR is uh, the signal uh, noise ratio. Okay. Uh, if you can see here the value is playing. Uh, now it's 17 dB. Um, according to experts, the value should be greater than 12.5. So I am with I am at 17 dB. So medium malakasya. Next is RSSI. RSSI is the receive signal strength indicator. Okay. Then the value of this should uh, 
uh, not lower than negative 80 dBm because if it's lower than negative 80 dBm that is considered poor signal strength so if you can see here it's negative 47 dBm that's greater than the neg negative 80 dBm okay so take note it's negative so um the the recommend the recommended uh, rssi is uh, between negative 48 dbm and negative 65 dbm so that's the recommended and i'm at negative 47 dbm now it's 49 negative 49 so it's uh keep on changing uh, i'll try to put the uh, antenna and i'll compare the, these figures now i am now ins installing the uh two antennas here so I'll do the okay do the antenna first this is the other antenna then the next antenna think thing na natin kung may improvement ba and you can notice here in the dashboard the settings are basically the same um, my RSRP is playing between uh, 80 to 81 uh, that's below just below the boundary <laughs> okay and it has not improved uh, right now so in short the antenna I installed on the device on the modem uh, are not really functioning Take note that I set the antenna to auto so that the system will determine or will just detect if uh, it's internal or external. But uh, there's instruction here, please use only external antennas provided by your career. Then the status, if you check this antenna status one, the primary antenna, the main and the secondary, it says here internal. So the external antenna was not, or was not, the, the two internal antennas were not uh, detected. Even if I put here external, then I'll click save, then it says the setting is successful, but the status here of the two antennas still says that it's internal, that is functioning. So in short, that antenna that I bought online is not uh, useful and it's not even functional. So beware and don't just buy any antenna to save money it's not really functional so I'll uh, maybe I'll uh, get another uh, antenna that is suitable for this kind of uh, mo mo Wi-Fi router modem I am still looking for the right antenna for this Wi-Fi modem router here this is the boost even uh, variant of the PLDT home Wi-Fi modem if you are using the other variant the evolution the back panel of that device has no antenna terminals but others are modifying the device by installing antenna terminals however don't be misled because what they are installing are not for the cellular signals from the cell site but for the Wi-Fi signal to our devices so the antenna will not help increase our internet connection. Remember, the PLDT Wi-Fi modem is a two-in-one device. Modem to receive the internet signal from the cell site and router to distribute that internet signal to our Wi-Fi enabled devices. So, that's clear. Don't be misled. Again, subscribe to this channel, High Tech Dubai, and See you in my other videos. Terima kasih